everyone. Welcome to another episode of Ice Summers. And of course, I decided to change things wisely. See, of course, for season nine, well, there'll be some changes discussed it later on. And of course, I come to my senses. Of course, I'm not doing episodes every every Saturday. Well, every weekend or so. It's just, of course, I'll just do episodes on my own time. See, of course, it doesn't matter how many episodes I do. And so now, we get started. So in season three of Degrassi, it was it was a great season as well. It was better than season two. So this season had aired from two thousand and three to two thousand four. It also reflected onto that school year as well. So anyway, also issued this new character who was in the homosexuality kind of. He questioned his sexuality, and of course. It was the first appearance of him, or maybe so. His name is Marco Del Rossi. Of course, he was he was a homosexual character. Of course, and of course, as for my friends are watching this, I'm serious. And of course, just watch season three of Degrassi, you'll believe me. Of course, also watch this season three episode named Pride. It has a part one. And two. So, of course, if, they, if you don't believe me, just watch it for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Just watch it for yourself. <laughs> Here's what's coming up right here on iSummers 2020. about to I summer's history today I want to explain to you guys about the antebellum era of course antebellum it means pre-war especially the Civil War of course I already have my knowledge about it but of course it mostly affected the economy much more than much more than everything else of course the antebellum era is before 1816 when the war had began and of course a lot of things had had happened during that era of course like mostly slavery of course this takes us back to the adventure of the conjun by eli whitney in the 1790s of course that helped out a lot of plantations of course of course, today is MLK Day, and of course, we have to remember what Martin Luther King has said, but we're not that, we're not there yet. So anyway, we're still on the 1800s, then we'll go there. Probably we might go there about sometime season 10. It doesn't matter, by the way. Just as soon as we, as soon as we get to it, by the way.
Now on to today's civics lesson, I'm going to show you guys about the preamble. Of course, it is an important, is an important part of the Constitution just more than reading the whole thing. Of course, of course, the preamble is the most important part, it is for the people to hear. Of course, we the people of the United States in order for a more perfect, perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do or obtain and establish this constitution for the United States of America. So that is the preamble. Of course, reflect on it for a little. Of course, think of all these parts mean. Just divide the preamble up to some parts, whatever parts you can think of, and then think to yourself, what could this mean? Of course, that will be on iSummers Accelerate. Of course, as soon as you get the Google Classroom code. Of course, which you'll be receiving in just a moment. Of course, the code is right at the bottom of your screen, which will show up in just a moment. Of course, it'll show up on your on the video in just a moment. Of course, it'll show up now. So, read the code below. And then, and then you'll log into Google Classroom on your personal account, not your school account. Do not do with your school account. I don't accept school accounts. So remember, log into Google Classroom. It's up to you. I have a change already. I made I made animations for Winter Forest. As you seen as you seen the animations recently. Of course, you can make some animations yourself. Of course, it is not sponsored anything, I'm just telling you. So now, remember, don't forget to be cool. Stay in school or you'll be a fool. Goodbye everyone. And remember, log in the Google Classroom. Of course, it's everything.